Immediately after the operation, the implants are covered with a denture and exposed to chewing pressure. This is called immediate load. Dental implants used to take months to heal, but this has changed a great deal in the last few years. You will now see two operations with different types of dentures, both of which are immediate load implants. The first operation involves not cutting, but punching. A puncher is used to make a small hole in the mucous membrane of the upper jaw, which has the same diameter as the implant. The pain after the operation is less than the pain experienced after a tooth is pulled. Now the drill holes are set and the bone prepared for the implants. The implants are then inserted and special ball anchors screwed onto the implants. The same procedure is performed on the other side. The technician integrates the opposing elements into the prosthesis during the operation. Dentures supported by implants enable the patient to taste, take large bites and chew, without artificial gums, pressure points or shifting. From a prosthetic point of view, these are hybrid prosthetics supported by the mucous membrane and held in place by an implant. Chewing pressure is partially transferred to the mucous membrane. In the second operation, the mucous membrane of the lower jaw is cut open instead of punched. A similar procedure is used to set drill holes. The bone is prepared for the implants and the implants are set, four of them in this case. The anchors for the prosthesis are then mounted onto the implants, in this case conical anchors instead of ball anchors. After the cut is sewn up, the prosthesis is fitted and placed into the patient's mouth. In terms of prosthetics, these are hybrid prosthetics supported by an implant or bone. Chewing pressure is transferred directly to the bone via the implants, not to the mucous membrane. Bone-based prosthetics fit better and provide more comfort in chewing, but they are expensive. Whether to punch or cut depends not on the prosthesis, but on the structure of the mucous membrane, whether the bone needs to be cut, and whether the dentist is trained to perform this type of operation. What technique is used and under what conditions is decided by the dentist. As always, good planning and the right strategy ensure the success of treatment.